Hey, this is Delano with Black Sheep 303 Creative, and my project today is for the Elizabeth Craft Designs blog. It is a bright and colorful floral Easter card where I've combined non-Easter stamps with some Easter accessories to create a Easter themed card. So I'm starting off with that uh, sort of row of flowers from the Laundry Party Clear stamp set. Super cute stamp set. And I'm stamping that onto some Bristol Smooth cardstock with some archival jet black ink. And then I'm stamping the two Easter egg stamps from the Spring Sentiment stamp set that I'm going to be adding into that row of flowers to, to give it an Easter theme. So I used Bristol Smooth cardstock and archival, which is waterproof ink, so that I can use my Tonic Nouveau aqua flow markers which are uh, watercolor markers along with my zig clean color real brush markers and some water to color these in i'm not doing any fancy coloring whatsoever it's basically just like straight coloring with the marker and then here and there i am adding water to kind of spread it out and maybe dilute the color a little bit but not too much those tonic nouveau aqua flow markers i really love them but i only have two sets the spring set, which is which are these lighter shades, it's called Spring Meadows. They're um, more pastel than the Winter Sky set, which is the other one I've got, which is that dark blue and the dark purple you see there, um, which is way more saturated. But they're really, really fun, and they, they stay super bright and really pretty, as do my Zig, so it was a really good combination. And as you can see, no fancy shading or anything happening. It's really just straight coloring with a little bit of water. And I'll list the colors um, over on my blog post if you're interested in those. And then I'm adding Tonic Nouveau crystal and glitter drops to the various flowers for some extra detail. I love glitter and I love dimension, so it's always fun to add some Tonic uh, Nouveau drops onto flowers, I think. Now you do note that the third flower from the right, the little small purple one, if you want to, um, create this card on your own, you do not need to color that flower. That flower is actually going to be covered up by the two eggs that I'm coloring right now. Um, so it would have been better had I not colored it, but I didn't really know that at the time. So just letting you know right now. <laughs> so um, again, some straight coloring on the eggs. I don't think I even really use much water except on the, on the blue egg on the lower left there. Um, just to keep them super bright. And I will add a little bit of Nouveau drops to especially the one on the on the upper left into the little uh, circles on that guy. I did get a lot of water on that blue, uh, the blue stripes. I'm not sure how I did it. Like I use my water brush, but I don't have water in it and I just dip it in water, but still, even though I clean it off, it can still get really, really wet. <laughs> and then like even now the purple is super wet. And um, so it can, that can make the color run. But if you're careful and you let it dry in between, it's not too bad. And I'm just using uh, three different shades of green on the leaves to kind of make them look a little bit different from each other. And I did use that like bright blue on the little bird up on top, which I thought was super cute. So now I have die cut this flower image out with the fourth largest die in the Modescript Dashing Squares die set, which makes little dash lines all around the edge. It's super cute. And then I fussy cut out the eggs and right now they have a white border, but later I am going to cut off the white border. So um, you will see me do that. And now I'm taking a craft knife and I'm cutting around that yellow flower on the far right, just the kind of lower left part of it, because I want to tuck those two eggs underneath it to kind of add it into the little row of flowers. And of course my craft knives were not sharp. <laughs> which made it a little bit difficult. Um, and because of that, I did wind up having to line the um, edge that was cut with some black. And then I did, as you can see there, now cut the eggs down with no white border and um, have lined them with black as well. And then I do the exact same thing on the on the opposite side along that red flower edge. I'm cutting an, an, a slit there to slip the single egg into that one. And now here is where I'm covering up that small purple flower with my white glaze pen because it does show a little bit around where I want to put the two eggs. So I needed to kind of white it out so it looked like it wasn't actually there. And I think if I hadn't colored it, that would have been easier to do because I did have to use several layers 
of white to get that covered up. Now for my greeting, I have a die cut out the word happy and then Easter from that cool uh, die set, which is called Words 3, Happy Holidays. So it has a lot more holidays on it. And now I'm taking some Distress Ink in Mustard Seed and I'm just going along the edges of the, the yellow word. So this is Buttercream Soft Finish cardstock that I cut it out of. And now I'm just edging it with the, dis or the Distress Ink. And then I also cut it out, the words out with uh, rich black soft finish cardstock and so I'm going to layer these together to create like a shadow layer. So I'm offsetting the yellow word sort of up and to the right so the black shows um, down and to the left around the word so that kind of makes a offset shadow on both words. And I use liquid adhesive for that and I would recommend that because it gives you a little bit of time to sort of play around with the spacing of the shadow against the original word, which is a little tricky. So here are my components. So now I have uh, cut a piece of this po purple polka dotted paper from the modus grab thinking about Rio de Janeiro uh, paper to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm adhering that onto the front of an, an, a top folding A2 sized uh, white soft finish cardstock card base. And now I'm taking my dashing squares flower panel and adhering that down to a piece of rosebud soft finish cardstock that has been die cut out with the fifth largest die in the dotted scallop squares die. And now I'm just sizing a piece of fun foam to the back of that so that I can lift that panel off the back of the or the front of the card. Give it a little dimension because it is fairly simple. So I'm going to just press that down in place on the front and I'm using 10 millimeter clear double sided adhesive for all of the paper, the large paper um, pieces and adhering them down. And now I'm using my Zig 2A glue pen to adhere the words down underneath the little flor floral square, I'm going to call it. <laughs> and I just kind of offset them a little bit, um, but more or less in the middle below that floral panel. And it seemed a little plain at this point, cute, but plain. So I wanted to add some glitter. So I ran uh, two strips of three millimeter clear double-sided adhesive tape um, on the vertical edges, about a, eh, an eighth of an inch in from the sides and pressed them down and tri trimmed off any excess. And now I'm just gonna cover this with soft green silk microfine glitter and rub it down with my finger to really burnish it into the tape and get a get the shine to come up really nicely because that glitter is super shiny and really pretty. And that is the completed project. So not too complicated, but kind of fun, I thought. I'm not really like a pastel Easter card person. I don't know why, because I certainly appreciate pastel cards. Um, I tend towards brighter, more uh, saturated colors. So that's what you're getting for me today. And hopefully you don't mind that so much. Um, and I did want to show you how you can combine your non-holiday themed stamps with sort of smaller little holiday accessories um, to create a holiday themed card with stamps that you might not normally think would work for them. And that laundry party stamp set is super cute. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, supplies are linked in the video description and over on my blog. Here are two more projects I have done in the past for Elizabeth Craft Designs. And I'd love it if you check those out and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you so much and have an amazing day.